Hi, this is Tim from Time to Sew. And this month we're doing something slightly different. Rather than working with paper, we've got some cotton shoppers and we're going to use stamping techniques and stamps to decorate the face and then using these fabric pens we're going to colour the image. As always, all the bits that we're using today you'll be able to find on the website. So, without further ado, off we go. Now the first thing I need to do is just put a couple of pieces of scrap card into the bag. This is to stop the ink that I'm going to apply bleeding through and messing up the opposite side. Now the stamps I'm going to use first are these cling stamps called cling because they cling to the acrylic blocks. Um, they're really good for large stamps actually because they work out appreciably cheaper because you don't, you're not paying for the wooden block and they're much easier to store because you haven't got the block each time to store. So there we go. So I've just inked that stamp with memento ink and stamped it onto the bag. And then I'm using these textile painters. They're a fabric paint felt pen to add a bit of colour to this flower. Now, as I'm sure you've watched someone colour in before, I've sped the film up to save you getting too bored. And I'm just going through adding the red to this flower. we go just finishing off background here now and there we go and that's it in detail now next I'm going to add a flourish this time rather than using black memento I'm using a sort of plum color just to add a couple of flourishes. There we go. And again, there. Now then, this is the stamp I'm going to use next. It's a vintage Indian stamp, which would have been used originally for stamping Cyrus. I'm just going to ink it with memento ink again. I'm not applying a lot of ink because I just want a, a gentle subtle image and then I'm going to go over it with one of the fabric pens to pick out the detail that I'm after. So there we go and with a fine nibbed pen I'm just going to go through and emphasize the areas that I'm after. I'm just going to speed the film up a little bit. But while I'm coloring away here, it's a good opportunity to tell you about our sister site to Time to Sew, where you can find these items. That's beloved and cherished. Now I'm adding the colour to the image. You'll find as there's no foam to give any give to these stamps as there is on a commercial stamp or paper stamp I should say perhaps. Um, you're best to work on two or three layers of card or a wad of paper to give a bit of springiness to your surface. There we go. Now then, just to show you um, that you can use 
a standard wooden paper stamp stamp I'm just inking this one up it's a sort of corner flourish once again the memento dye ink and then I'm just positioning this on the corner and pushing it home there we go and that's it in detail and these little stamps here are again fair trade from uh, the beloved and cherished site these are not vintage ones though these have been carved more recently for sale so I've got a couple of elephants and then these little dancing men but this time I'm using the fine nibbed pens to give the detail to the elephants uh, trim and then a standard pen just to colour in the bulk here now these little men are rather fun I'm not sure whether they're frightened or merrily dancing so I'll add a tiger to give them something to uh, to think about there we go a few more and I think that's that side done now just to finish it off I'm going to freehand some text onto the back there time to sew These are the two pens that we do. As you can see, a fairly fine nib. And the same again in a bigger nib. And all you do is colour, as I was doing here. Then, when you've finished, you iron the whole piece without steam three minutes that's once it's dry and then it's okay to run through the washing machine up to 60 degrees uh, you can't use it on something that's got a, um, a synthetic finish on this natural cotton it's perfect it's the color so straight in and that's it thanks for watching So here we go, this is our contact details, www.timetosew.com and for the fair trade, www.belovedandcherished.com Thank you for watching.